All right, what do you guys want to do next? Got a bunch of stuff to get to. Mm. We got the uh, Lost in Space clips. Oh, dear. We've been obsessed with this for many years, yeah, Garden Boys. We actually had, uh, what was his name? Jonathan Harris? Yeah. Jonathan Harris. We had him on our show back in uh, back at NEW. Remember that? I and sure here's do. another one that over the two years that we were off, uh, dropped dead. Dr. Zachary Smith. From Lost in Space, we for for years. God, from the time we hooked up uh, to do radio, we've been goofing on the fact that he uh, really comes off like a pedophile on Lost in Space with young William. There you had uh, Penny, uh, who was the the sister, and then Judy, who was like the big blonde on the show. Big torpedo tits she a had hot, on her. A hot piece of ass. Major West though was was uh, I think having sex with her. But uh, Dr. Smith never gave them a look. Young Penny and Judy, nothing. Uh, barely talked with the adults. The adults would have nothing to do with him because he was just a screw-up. He would always try to sabotage things, and he was always wrecking things. No one ever had a, a conversation with Dr. Smith. It was just him talking with the young boy, young William, constantly going out on little outings, you know, everybody else, they'd land on some planet, and the rest of the crew, you know, the father there and, and uh, Don West and everything, would go out and do whatever they had to do. Yeah. Uh, they, they would work. Collect food for the family. The, the, the work ladies. Work on the spaceship a little bit. Yeah, the ladies would set up the hydroponic garden and start getting some uh, food together for them. The guys would repair the ship or go out and see if they could find some kind of supplies that they need. Or, and Dr. Smith, what was he doing? Just roaming around, climbing rocks with Will, <laughs> looking around. William, come with me. Looking for monsters. Looking for monsters. Oh, dear. And hoping that the rain would come. <laughs> <laughs> Little game of monster rain under the Jupiter 2. Yes. <laughs> Incidentally, that is where Jimmy Robinson's last name came from. Right. From Will Robinson. From Will Robinson. You, you named him Jimmy Robinson because you thought Will Robinson was pretty cool? Cool, yeah. Because he hung out with an old man? Oh, I remember. <laughs> wow. This, is yes. getting, this whole thing is getting deeper. I didn't know that. Young yeah. Jimmy Norton, come with me. <laughs> Yeah. Oh dear! <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! Come with me, Jimmy Norton. <laughs> and uh, for some reason, the family had no problem with this, sending Will off with Doctor Smith, who pretty much almost got the entire family killed on a weekly basis. But uh, I guess all was forgiven by the end of the episode. You play the music, do 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 do. Come on, Smith. Back in the ship, Smith. <laughs> Instead of leaving him out there, you know, hogtied. And I invite him back in uh, so they could land on another planet. And he can romp around with uh, with their young son again. So um, we're, we're slowly but surely going through all the clips of the show. Yeah. How many years was it on? Uh, those uh, shows back in the 60s were only on just a couple seasons. It yeah. just seems like they were on forever. Well, not that long. But they pumped out a lot of episodes back yeah. then, too. So uh, this is we got like ten really quick uh, clips here. Mm -hmm. The first one is just over overacting. Yeah, it's just the, the way uh, he ran around like a like a faggot. And it's weird though if you watch the first couple of episodes of Lost in Space, it's uh, the mood is a lot darker, and uh, it's not as camp and zany, you know. And Doctor Smith isn't this over the top. Kansas City faggot that he turns into by the later part of the show. He's very evil. Very dark and sinister, and he was there to sabotage the Jupiter too. And then by the uh, middle of this, not even the middle of the run, it was, it was still like kind of the beginning of the run. They thought for some reason to just make him this over-the-top fag, flamboyant, a queen, and he just runs around yelling and screaming like uh, like this. Help me, dear! I'm wasting up here. Hurry up, Penny! I'm stuck. Penny, hurry up, dear! Help! <laughs> What is he stuck in? Hell, he's stuck in William's buttocks. <laughs> it's so tight and hairless. Boy has a sweet face, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, yes, he's wearing a flaming shirt. Young boy. <laughs> hey, I gotta go to the phone real fast. Say hi to Jeff in Illinois. Jeff, what's up? Hey, man, this is Jeff from Danville. Hey. Hi, Jeff. Hey, uh, I know you guys are talking about that Zachary Smith uh, thinking he might be a pedophile and everything. 
uh, I don't know if you guys are aware or not, but uh, that kid that played Young William has been doing pornos for a long time. <laughs> Come on, really? No. I'm serious. Where did you hear that, sir? Well, I've been hearing it. The Chicago radio station talks about it all the time. I mean, they've been talking about it for like the last 10 years. All right, hold, uh, stay on hold. Well, we gotta, we got to have uh, some proof of that. If I you, had no idea. They they put porno movies on uh, Internet Movie Database, and uh, there's no way. Billy Mummy. That's his name. Billy Mummy. And there's no... Uh, he never did uh, did porno. He's been in regular movies. Is he still acting? I think so. Not really a lot. I, last thing I saw him in, he was in... Uh, he was in the Twilight Zone movie years ago when that came out. What's he look he like as an adult? He was in the Anthony episode. He looks like he did as a kid, only grown up. <laughs> Pretty odd. I don't, I don't remember And he, he he was like a co-writer on that old, early 80s song, Fish Heads. Remember Fish Heads? Oh, really? Fish Heads, Roly Poly Fish Heads. Yeah. Barnes. He was like one of the what, what writers was the name of the, uh, or something. Barnes and Barnes. Barnes and Barnes. Barnes. Who did that? Fish. Barnes! Fish Heads. Yeah. Roly Poly <laughs> Fish Heads. Fish yeah. Heads. Fish Heads. Eat them up. Yum. Yeah, he was one of the... Uh, like writers of that, Mummy. Billy Mummy, Billy Mummy. What has he done? Last thing he ha he has listed here is in 1997 as Billy Mummy. Yeah. He was a voice. No, there's no um. I don't see any porno. Do they list? Do they do list them on this. Yeah, they list porno. You put in porno. Like, uh, who's who's your buddy there from uh, porno that we met the other day? Oh, God, which one? You know the one that uh, we recognized. Tom Byron. Yeah, Tom Byron. Put his name in. Dude, the guy's got 1,200 movies. 1,200 movies. These guys get more screen time than most Hollywood actors will ever get. Wait, I want to hear fish heads real fast. All right. Fish oh. heads, fish heads, roly poly fish heads, fish heads, fish heads, eat them up, yum. Fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish This would scare me. Smoking some pot when you were watching MTV back then. And, uh, it's creepy. Nah, he never did porno. What were they thinking? <laughs> nice buzz, dude. <laughs> yeah, really. A whole song about fish heads. The kid from A Christmas Story that got his tongue stuck on the uh, on the flagpole. Yeah. Remember that one? Mm -hmm. He went into porno. He was also in, what was it called, The Toy? After that scene, how could you not? <laughs> oh. oh, was that the kid that uh, starred with Pryor and Gleason? Yeah. He did porn? He yeah. ended up, to, he's still doing it. Yeah. Yeah, he does porn. I think I met him a few times at Sober Dances or something like that in, in Jersey years ago, like early 90s. People, his Stay name was Eric something? Ooh, maybe. I got I got the site up. We'll, we'll check that out. Quickly, quickly. Uh, Eric Bates? No, I, I, that was his name in the movie. Scott Schwartz. Okay. Scott <laughs> Schwartz. Yeah, Scott, Scotty's X-Rated Adventure. Uh, Dirty Bob's Excellent Adventure 36 and 35 he was in. Wow. Yeah, he's done He's done porno. Not exactly screen legends. No, not exactly. But, yeah, he's one of the child stars that went on to uh, pornography. Very Steve proud. Steve Head, Steve Head, sweet and cozy Steve Head. <laughs> <laughs> Put your arms around him and kiss him up. <laughs> Kiss him up. Yeah. Kiss him up. It's not dirty. It's just cute. Yeah. <laughs> it's what you do to a roly poly Steve head. Roly poly <laughs> Steve head. <laughs> a sweet and cozy boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So back to the clips, Anthony. Yeah. Another clip of uh, Dr. Dear. Smith overreacting. Overacting, I should say. Oh, yes. Let's get rid of him. This is our chance. That's how your evil minds worked, wasn't it? No! Oh, be stay away from me! Oh, leave me alone! Oh! <laughs> Probably had a girl chasing him. <laughs> Ew! You're with the boobies and vagina! <laughs> it's like a monster! Leave me alone! <laughs> what kind of creature is this, a vagina? Ah! 
<laughs> Get it away, it smells. <laughs> I hear they have teeth, William. <laughs> Protect me from the vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I hate boobies. <laughs> They're disgusting. I like a nice flat hairless chest, yes, like yours, William. With a little pee-pee. <laughs> I don't like coochies, no. Oh, here comes one, Penny. Woo! <laughs> she runs away. <laughs> Dr. Smith, a vagina is approaching. <laughs> Help me! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, spare me that disgusting opening, Penny. <laughs> Hide it, please. It's disgusting. Someone could fall in and get hurt. Oh! <laughs> I like a young plucked chicken. Ugly vaginas, look at it. Ew! Ew! Wow! <laughs> yes. <gasps> Since we're lost in space, maybe we can do some docking. <laughs> Come here, William. Little docking. <laughs> See, you take yours. Yes. Now, peel back. Yes. Look, we've ducked! We are one, William! <laughs> you ugly girls, nasty. No, oh dear! Wow! I must duck with you, William, or you float away for sure! It's our little secret, my boy, our little secret, yes! Penny, get away! I can smell your vagina from here! It's disgusting! Wow! You are nice, you're young and hairless. Let me rub you with some oil. Maybe someday you'll grow into a big bear with a sweet face, but for now, I love the lack of hair. Oh! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, so uh, now we get into some of the gay clips. Mm, this yeah. is an ongoing project, right? We'll have more as the as the show uh, progresses, right? Yeah, that's only season one. We're waiting for season two. All right, uh, season one, Anthony. So now we get into some of the gay clips, proving that Dr. Smith was a pedophile. Like those last two are real masculine. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> what right. a fruit. Let's listen to this one. Too bad about young Will, though. The only agreeable companion I've found on this ghastly trip. <laughs> the only agreeable companion. Do you agree? Yes. Keep it secret from everybody. <laughs> companion. It's a boy. Oh. All right. Here's uh, Dr. Smith is gay. Clip one. All right. When you're finished, there is the most incredible thing I want to take you to see. It'll be our little secret. <laughs> Let us in on your little secret, too, sir. Oh, it was nothing, nothing at all. Just a little child's game I was going to make up. Oh, no. What are you up to? You have an evil, Monster suspicious ring. mind, Major. I just happened to be off for a stroll. You didn't see Will by any chance. <laughs> you stay away from that boy, sir. <laughs> Not very concerned about his higher education, are you? I am concerned. Every time I see him with you. And let me tell you something. If I ever catch you telling that boy wild stories again, so help me, Smith. No need to threaten brute violence, Major. I know how afraid you are of my influence. How do they get away with this on TV, man? I want you to stay away from that boy, Smith. Little child's game, Doctor. Yes, the rain Major is coming. West, the rain is coming. Yes, monster <laughs> rain, William. Let's play. Here it comes, quick, under the Jupiter two. <laughs> Okay, now you pull down your little mylar futuristic pants and I'll pull down mine, yes. Don't tell anybody. This is very secretive, William. <laughs> yes. <laughs> God damn, that is funny, man. That really is funny. He is just awful. Well, we got a young boy. We got another example of Dr. Smith being gay, Anthony, on Lost in Space. Dr. Smith and I are going to wait up for you. I don't think that's such a good idea, Will. Well, we have our sleeping bags, and Mom said it was all right. Oh. The boy is perfectly safe with me. <laughs> all right, Will. Now then, 
Let us retire to our sleeping quarters. Come along, my boy. Good night, sir. Good night, Dad. Good night, Will. Just hand him over to a predator, for God's sake. <laughs> Just feeding him to the sharks. Yes, yes. I have an amusement park in my backyard. Yes, you could go on the rides and drink some Jesus juice. Woo! <laughs> you like to look at some pornography in the bathroom, young boy? <laughs> I have a monkey, too, named Bubbles. Bubbles, come quickly! <laughs> they just send them <laughs> off. We got our sleeping bags. Yes, but we'll only need one, William. <laughs> we'll zip them together to keep warm. <laughs> Dr. Smith is 112 on this planet. Yes, indeed. Oh, what a predator. The biggest danger on any planet, and they didn't see it. <laughs> Will, why can't you sit? Well, it's a... Quiet, my boy. Quiet. It's our little secret. Our little secret, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> That's great. God damn, I didn't know there were such blatant clips. Yeah. That's fantastic. Oh, you know what? Oh, I'm a huge uh, Family Guy uh, fan. Yeah, I forgot about this. we got to get this clip. Did you ever see the Family Guy episode <laughs> where they have Lost in Space jokes where the whole family stays at the ship and the father says, William, go off in the space car to find food with that old menacing pedophile. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Please walk with me. Remember the episode of Lost in Space on the vegetable planet with the carrot guy that whenever he got thirsty, he'd say, moisture, moisture, I need moisture. Oh, yeah. I remember the other guy with, like, the pillow on his chest and he would go, crush, kill, destroy. Oh, yeah. Crush, kill, destroy. And he picked up big uh, rocks and would squish them. And the episode where uh, Dr. Smith got all strong and he was able to crush rocks. I think my favorite one was the one where they, um, was it the robot got real big or the family got real small? I don't remember. And they cr had to crawl inside the robot and take a big journey through them. And, and at the end, they were going to get real big uh, uh, again. So they had to get out of the robot before they grew or else they'd get squished inside there or something. That was a good one. All right. Another example of Dr. Smith being gay. Yes. Hi, Doctor. William, what a delightful surprise. <laughs> Where have you been keeping yourself? I've been sort of busy, sir. Well, you're here now, and that's all that matters. Come closer, come closer. <laughs> <laughs> come closer. Yes, you're here now, that's all that's important. Please grab my penis, William. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yes. Uh, tug away. I had to tell my father, Dr. Smith. Oh, no harm done. I would have informed him myself, eventually. Now, uh, what about a piece of delicious French pastry? Uh. Here, my boy. Dessert for tonight's dinner. Compliments of Zachary Smith. Thank you, sir. You know, Will, I've missed you. It's been very lonely here without you. <laughs> wow. How did they get away with this? Yes. French pastry. That's my code word for my schlong. <laughs> Eat up, young boy. It's cream filled. <laughs> wow. Oh, I've missed you. <laughs> you could have come to see me. I've been banished, remember? Is that the only reason you stayed away? I don't quite follow you, my boy. You said all you wanted to do was check out the machine. That's exactly what I've been doing. For four days? Well, you see, uh, science is a matter of uh, trial and error. I had to be sure there was no danger. Have you found any? There are certain problems. But as soon as they're ironed out... When will that be? Uh, eventually, my boy, eventually. What you really mean is never, don't you, sir? Now, Will, what a thing to say. Don said now that you had the machine, you didn't need us anymore. Surely you don't believe that? <laughs> he said all you cared about was yourself. That's not true. I don't think I want the paster anymore. I sort of lost my appetite for it. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Will? Will? Wait a moment. Yeah. That's a little creepy, a little huh? Touching, little touching moment between uh, man and boy. 
And this is the one we've been playing all morning. You will be molested. <laughs> that was a quickie. Yeah. And then, uh, then this one that we've been playing, the sex grunts. <laughs> oh, it sounds like the last bit. Uh, uh. Apparently, he's um, carrying a heavy bucket of rocks, and that's why he's making the grunting sounds. But if it doesn't sound like he's uh, he's coming, I don't know. All right, and then uh, another clip. There, there, my brave boy. It's all over now. You take your hands off him. <laughs> <laughs> there, there. It's all over now. You'll be able to sit in a week or two. <laughs> Uh, nothing as tight as the first time, <laughs> but you're the only game in town. <laughs> <laughs> Poor boy. There, there. It's all over now for this hour. <laughs> uh, not only lost in space, but molested. And then uh, finally, we'll have more. Oh, yeah. Here's the last the one for today. One. Dr. Smith. Good boy. Someday... You will all thank me for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, sir. May I have another? <laughs> very well. There you go. Uh, That's very funny. Young boy. <laughs> That's really funny. That they just would put that on TV. Just let this family send their young boy out with this old pedophile. Hmm. Oh, dear. Mm. <laughs> you got me again. Every time is funny. Oh dear. I seem to have wet my pants with club soda. William, help me! Help me, Eric! Yes, I need something to wipe up with, young boy. Yes, <laughs> yes. More towels, please. Could I have one of those pleasure cleaning rags from the convention? Yes. A cum clean? I need a cum clean, <laughs> William! William, wipe your mouth before you go back to the ship. Use a cum clean! <laughs> so young and hairless. Oh, the my The jism God. flakes right off, doesn't get stuck in hairs like on my legs. <laughs> All right, well. Would you like a Turkish towel? <laughs> Please get me a Turkish towel! <laughs> the worst, 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 worst of Opie and Anthony. Ugh. I wouldn't order this shit either. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. Opie and Anthony. <laughs>